What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to be following Madison Beer's makeup routine. I'm pretty sure we've all seen the YouTube video that Vogue posted of Madison doing her skincare and makeup routine. I thought it would be fun to do everything that she does because her makeup is <laughs> flawless. <laughs> I'm even wearing a matching headband. Um, this one's from Urban Outfitters. Madison was wearing a similar one in her video, so I had to pull mine out for this video as well. And of course, I had to go along with the bathroom theme, hence why I'm filming this in the bathroom. First step of my makeup routine, which this is a very, very new thing I've initiated with my makeup. I've not always done this and I'm obsessed with it. I used to have really out of control eyebrows. Same. And now, this amazing trend of soap brows, which whoever came up with that is genius. I know, it's I love it. A block of soap. Take a spoolie brush and you really get the soap in there. Just brush through your eyebrows. And again, I don't know if I do this wrong. Okay, so the first step in her makeup routine is eyebrows and this is actually pretty new to me because I rarely ever do my brows and if I do them, it's like always one of the last steps but she uses soap and she creates soap brows which I love. So today I'm using the Makeup Revolution Soap and Care Soap little thingy. I mean, like she said, it's literally a chunk of soap. I'm just taking some setting spray and just spraying some in there gonna grab my spoolie get some soap on there i love soap brows but the only thing is i feel like it sometimes like leaves little like specks of soap like little chunks of soap in my brows which i do not really like um maybe i'm just applying too much i don't know my brows are super bushy so i feel like i always need something to keep them in place because otherwise they just look crazy okay brows are in place i'm loving the soap brow today now on to the next step i don't really use foundation technically it's a skin tint is what it's called okay so she uses a skin tint it's supposed to just even out her skin tone um i actually really like the way it looks also yes i know i aggressively beat my face when i'm doing this but <laughs> she uses a skin tint to even out her skin tone um i don't have a skin tint but i do have a bb cream which is what i always use to even out my skin tone so i feel like this product would be perfect for this look i'm just using the bali buddy protect and correct bb cream with spf so i normally don't use my beauty blender for this but i guess we'll just try it out and see how it looks um, she doesn't use primer, she just goes straight into her skin tint. I would usually use primer, but we're trying new things today. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit on my face and then I'm gonna wet my sponge. But like I said, I normally never use a beauty sponge when I use this BB cream because I feel like it looks better when I use my fingers to blend it out, but... I'm just gonna go for it today and use my makeup sponge just like Madison. Okay, so next up is the Lord and Savior of concealers, which is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've been using these forever. And I have it. I, feel like I actually 99, to be completely honest, 99% of my days I don't wear any makeup at all. I'm just too lazy, to be frank. But when Same. I'm in the mood and I have time to do like a full, full face, I will because I, I, like, I like doing makeup. Okay, so she's just applying some concealer underneath her eyes, also on her forehead, and then... This ginger as well. I use it for like more, just covering my spots. Okay, so on your spots. And I have to be under and just blend that all in. Can I just say that Madison's makeup always looks super duper flawless. Literally in every single picture, TikTok, or video that I see of her, she just looks insane. I would just like to say that I am aware that my face is literally a different color than my neck and my chest. I will fix that later. Okay, so now that I have concealer on, which I'm gonna just have to accept this guy for what he is, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, I think they're called glow sticks, contour wands. 
I use it very sparingly because okay. a little goes a long way. Contour? I have my contour stick right here. It's kind of the same shade that Madison uses. So she's just dotting some on her cheekbones as well as her forehead. So that's what I'm gonna do. She's again using her beauty blender to blend everything in again. I would usually use a brush for this. I'm never really a fan of blending out cream contour with um, sponges just because it takes so freaking long. But I do have to say that my makeup looks super like flawless already so so that's my cream contour so i start with all cream based products first again this might be criminal and really wrong that's to do what it i love way, but this is the way that i works love cream me, so products this is the way that i do it my favorite product in makeup period is blush this same is my blush ever the charlotte tilbury cream blush i put a lot of this stuff on okay and People always ask me, is there one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life? It would 100% be this. I don't care if I had pimples and no concealer, I would use blush no matter what. Yes, literally same girl. Okay, so she is using cream blush and I love her for this because cream blush is literally one of my favorite makeup products ever. So I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush and this is kind of the... A similar shade that Madison's using. She says that she's using a lot, so that is exactly, exactly what I'm going, going to, do. to do. I also completely blush up my nose, like I'm a cartoon character. Okay, so she also puts blush on her nose, which I love as well. And again, she's using her beauty blender to blend everything in. This blush from Makeup Revolution is really pretty, by the way blending it up my nose just like madison so now i'm gonna go with powder okay powder operations is about to go down just warning everybody this is the charlotte tilbury and i also only really powder under my eyes and in like my t-zone okay so that's what i would usually do too so i'm happy that that's what she's doing because i don't like to powder my whole face it's just not for me i only powder underneath my eyes and then also on my t-zone the only thing that i'm noticing is my concealer creasing because i usually after i put on my concealer i like powder straight away because my concealer always creases but i'm just gonna apply some powder there so now i'm moving on to my bronzer and i'm using the one and only fenty beauty my queen rayon's bronzer i love fenty beauty okay so she's using bronzer i don't have the exact bronzer that she's using i'm just using benefit hula i do have to say that i'm looking really bronzed already because of that cream contour and as you guys can see my face does not match my neck but whatever i'm gonna fix it later i'm just gonna do a tiny tiny bit of bronzer I feel like I'm bronzed enough already, but we're doing it for the video today. And I don't really ever nose contour because again, okay. fearful of the unknown. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I do it very, very lightly um, because it still does scare me. I use a brush like this and I just will get in there. I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit on either side. Okay, so she's going in with a smaller brush and the same bronzer. She's just putting some on the side of her nose, not really contouring too much i'm not really good at contouring my nose either so as good as it's gonna get oh my gosh does that look crazy keep it in the family we're gonna go in with the fenty beauty blush which is in ginger binge and moscow mule this is the best blush ever so we are doing more blush she's going in with a brush and then also again a blusher from Fenty Beauty. I don't have that exact blusher but I'm going in with this blush from Colourpop that's kind of similar and we're just gonna put on some more blush I guess. We're looking very blush today. Um, I do love a good blushed look but maybe I put a little bit too much of that um, cream blush on in the first place. <laughs> so the next step is my beloved Morphe Madison 
pure palette. So I'm gonna go with the lighter shade and social media obviously is- Okay, so she's doing eyeshadow now. And again, I don't have her exact palette, but I'm of course gonna use similar shades that she is using. I'm kind of dumb and I forgot pretty much all of my eyeshadow brushes. So I'm gonna kind of have to improvise. I'm gonna go in with a brush that I previously used and Madison's going in with a lighter shade and she's putting it all over her eyelid space. I'm gonna pick up the color Blur, which is this one right here from the Naked Reloaded palette. And I'm just gonna pack her onto my lid. So I'm using this shade in my palette and I'm gonna use a little bit of this one as well. And I'm just mixing the two and I'm going just into the crease of my eyes right here. And I'm using, I go, I keep going back in with this lighter shade just to throw it in the corner of my eye in the middle. So she's doing kind of like a medium brown shade into her crease and then she keeps going in with a lighter color in her inner corner, which I love. So I'm gonna go in with the color Bucked, which is kind of this medium brown color right here. And I'm just gonna go for it and put this in my crease just like her. This is kind of what I do a lot of the time. When I go for a more natural makeup look, I just throw on a little bit of brown into the crease and a lighter color in the inner corner. Speaking of brushes, one that I did make that is my savior is this Morphe Nancy Mirror brush. This is the best eyeshadow color in the world. So I use this brush for my inner corner and that is it. And yes. I so I look, I always try to look down or like center. Okay, so this is exactly what I do. She goes in with a little, oh my gosh, that was the back of the brush. She goes in with a little angled eyeliner brush like this and she goes in with a dark brown color and she uses it as eyeliner, which is what I love to do. And she first does her inner corners to create kind of like that cat eye little moment. Same thing on this side. And then I have a bit bigger of a brush to do my liner. And I use the exact same shadow color, what I do is I'll look and I will imagine if I had a really long eyelash coming out from here, like where would it sit? And what would it look like and so i see like a line in my head okay that's, that's really um, smart so she's doing liner on not only on our inner corner but also right here like where you would usually apply liner i'm just using the same brush because it's the only like little eye um angled liner brush that i have just extending from my outer corner and doing a little liner moment so once the eyeliner's on, I start to feel a little bit more complete. The next step is my highlighter, my cream highlighter, which is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. I have the one. same one. And I just do like two little dots okay. right there. And I love highlighter. I feel like it just makes me feel like I'm a forest nymph and a fairy. <laughs> and like She's going in with the highlighter. She's just doing a few little dots on her cheeks of the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. And she's blending it out with her beauty sponge again. So I am going in again. This highlighter is super, super pretty. It's honestly one of my favorite highlighters ever. I am a liquid highlighter freak. I prefer liquid highlighters over powder highlighters just because it looks 20 times better. I double up on highlighter a little bit. I really like this glossy one. It's called Play. Okay, so she's doing even more highlighter. Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to do that. My face is looking crazy already. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more because I don't have the Glossier one that she's using. I'm going to go in with my mascara. It's called the Lash Slick by Glossier and it makes my eyelashes look like eyelash extensions. It just fills them mm. out so much. Oh my gosh, Madison has the most... <gasps> I just broke my mascara again. Oh no. I'll have to use a different one. Um, I just wanna say that Madison has the most gorgeous dark curled eyelashes, which is not what I have. So I went ahead and I actually curled my eyelashes to get the same effect as Madison because if I don't curl them, my eyelashes just stick straight out and it's really not pretty. So I am just going to layer on some mascara. 
make my lashes nice and dark. Now I move on to my highlighter. And I use this color right here, which I made sure that I would have something that I could use in my inner corner in this palette. And so I threw this into the inner corner. Um, I don't do it too much, just a little bit, just enough to get by. So she's putting a lighter shimmery color from her palette in her inner corner. I'm just going to go in with the shade Angel Fire, which looks really similar to the shade that she's using, um, again, from the Naked Reloaded palette. And I'm just going to pop this little baby into my inner corner. She says that she's not using too much. And I agree. I don't like it when it's like super heavy shimmery in my inner corner. I just like a little bit of shimmer. This is my favorite lip liner because it matches my lip tone and I can get away with overlining my lips a lot and mm -hmm. it doesn't really show. And already you can see this is where my lip is and I go below it. So from what I can see, she is using a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, which I actually have. I have two shades. The one that's like closest to her lip liner color is this one. And this is the Pillow Talk Medium 2 lip liner. And she overlines her lips, which I love. So that's what I'm going to do. This lip gloss is actually one of my from TikTok. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. It's so nice. And I really like to get that Cupid bow. I put it on like my lip liner on my skin, but I, once you put lip gloss on top of that, it looks like your lip. Um, I don't have the exact one that she's using, but I do have two lip oils right here, which look kind of similar to the one that Madison is wearing. It's kind of like a clear, nude-ish, shiny kind of lip gloss. I am thinking that this one looks more like it. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of this lip oil. It's the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. And... I'm obsessed with these lip oils because they feel so amazing on your lips. She also said that she puts it kind of like on her actual skin where she put the lip liner and on her cupid's bow. And the last thing that I do, and this is if I'm feeling real fancy, give myself a spray of the same stuff. Nice. Okay. The beginning, a light spray. A light spray, not, nothing too crazy. We're doing a light spray of setting spray. So I'm using the Benefit Professional Super Setter. I just want to say that my skin looks absolutely gorgeous today. I'm loving the blush. I'm loving the highlighter. First, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of blush. This is a lot of highlighter. But now that I'm like looking at the final product, I am actually just obsessed with how everything looks. Madison is so gorgeous and she's not only gorgeous, but her personality is amazing. I've been following her for years. I think I was like 12 or 13 when I started following her on Keek. I don't know if you guys remember that app, but Keek was kind of like a video app that you could share like kind of short videos on, kind of like Vine, but not really Vine. And I used to be obsessed with her. I still am because she's amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me follow Madison Beer's makeup tutorial. I am just in love with this makeup. It's gorgeous. It's so me. And if you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your post notifications, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at at Georgina Juanita as well as my beauty brand at GGB Beauty and I will see all of you angels in my next video. Bye!